New statistics show a lot more people are getting on their bikes. The number of daily bike rides has increased 37% from 2019 to 2022. Meanwhile, many cities like Charlotte are investing in biking infrastructure to improve the riding experience. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre is in Uptown with what people on two wheels are seeing. Folks I spoke to in the biking community say improvements like protected bike lanes go a long way to make riders feel safe. And they say with more work, Charlotte could truly become a true biking city. The more you get out on a bike, the more you see your neighborhood, the more you learn who your neighbors are. Some people are trading in their cars for a set of two wheels. Frank Devine is one of them, an avid rider since the pandemic. Since then, I've been able to go car free. I bike everywhere now. States across the U.S. saw an increase in annual average daily bicycling trips, with more than half seeing an uptick about 25 percent. North Carolina ranked fourth among the states for growth. That's according to Streetlight data. Devon isn't just a rider. He's also the Bicycle Advisory Committee's chairperson. And he says Charlotte is on the right track to become a more bike-friendly city. We've added the Uptown Cycle Track. You've added the protected bike lane on the plaza. You've added the bike lane on Parkwood. If you give people those connections where they can kind of get onto the greenway and have stress-free commutes, they're more willing to try it by bike. Charlotte is investing $113 million in the Cross Charlotte Trail project to create a 30-plus mile trail and greenway facility that will stretch from Pineville to the PNC Music Pavilion. From protected bike lanes and bike paths to curb extensions, bikers say they see the progress. Charlotte Cycles feeling the growth. We're seeing a lot of customers bringing their bikes back in for service, which means they're actually riding them. Um, we're seeing our rentals increase. More investment, connections, safety and accessibility means more folks riding out. Having a space where somebody feels not intrusive with cars allows them to choose a bike. It's kind of a field of dream scenario. If you build it, they will come. Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte.